Zedon Danny, Electric Ninja here, and welcome back to Electric Ninja's Lab. In today's video, we are talking about the newest CW DC superhero, Stargirl, and why you should show it some love. So, obviously, I waited a little bit on actually making this video, primarily because of the fact that that I wanted to at least have two episodes out before I actually made this full video. Um, but that's for another time. So don't worry about it. Just know that that's the main reason why I waited. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Stargirl is honestly a fantastic show. And you don't really need to just take my word for it, because a lot of people have said that it is a fantastic show that many people enjoy. Um, while I can't actually give any exact details, I do know that a lot of people have said that it's one of the best shows. And honestly, I have to agree that it may be the best of all of the DC shows. However, Keep in mind that, as of right now, I haven't seen anything that is currently only available on the DC app. So anything such as um, the Titans, uh, Swamp Thing, Doom Patrol, I haven't seen those ones. Nor have I seen the most recent season of Young Justice. I've only seen the first two. So, yeah. And I also haven't seen all of the older shows but the point is that it may be my favorite of all the DC shows but why is this well partially it's because of nostalgia nostalgia is a powerful thing and if you really think about it objectively you will realize that it is actually something that is probably the biggest reason why people are enjoying it as much. Let's be honest, most of the people who started watching uh, Flash and Arrow and Supergirl and Legends, around the time that these things were starting, these people were getting ready to go into high school or they were middle schoolers or they were actually in high school. <laughs> but now, Stargirl comes out, a show that takes place in high school. And because of the fact that people have been sticking with these shows for a, a while now, they're getting to this show now and seeing a lot of nostalgia for it. A lot of nostalgia for their times in high school. To think about back then, what did they do and stuff like that. But there is another reason, and that is that this portrays high school better than most shows, most superhero shows, or really most shows in general. For those of you who aren't aware, um, a good amount of the shows that I've talked about on this channel, Miraculous, My Hero, they take place in high school. The characters are in high school, and a lot of anime actually focus on kids in high school. Um, it's shocking, I know, but it's the truth. But they don't really portray high school the way it actually is, especially over here in America. The chaos that ensues, all of the conflicting emotions... These shows are meant for younger audiences, while for CW, it's uh, it's for the older audience, so they can afford to make these shows be more mature. While yes, they aren't uh, to the extent that it's uh, it would be MA or whatever, it's still more mature than, say, 
really a lot of these shows. And they can go into the actual things that are going on with a lot of high school students. The desire to fit in. The idea that newcomers are shunned a lot of the time. The fact of the, if, because apparently a lot of kids actually went through this, I wasn't one of them, but apparently a lot of kids did, where s suddenly their parents are getting into a new relationship, finding new love. They're starting to get a step-parent. And this exemplifies a lot of those aspects the chaos that's going on inside of the of star girl's head but it doesn't make that its primary focus it makes its primary focus the wanting to be a hero or rather to find some connection something that makes them themselves there's a lot to it and Saying for sure what they're going to do with the show remains to be seen, but they delve into the interpersonal relationships with Stargirl f dealing with the fact that her stepdad is has been holding on to a staff, the idea that perhaps her father who disappeared on her years ago might have been a superhero who just so happened to get killed killed with with the rest of them and that's the reason why he's gone all these ideas and conflicts are happening for her on top of the fact that this portrays a small town a town where everyone knows each other and you see someone one day, you're going to see them again. It always feels weird to me that in these other shows where they're being heroes in big cities, that they see these same people over and over again. Yes, you're going to see a lot of the people over and over again, but not to the same extent. In big cities, you'll often run into just random people, people that you don't recognize. While in smaller cities, you're often going to run into the same people over and over and over again. And believe me, I know what it's like because I lived in a rural town for a good majority of my life and I I literally knew everyone in my high school. Was I friends with them? No, but the point is that I knew almost everyone. And that is a weird thought to think about. That this gets to actually develop. On top of all of this, it's also kind of clear that this isn't from the perspective of someone much older looking back at childhood and thinking oh what was that like like when they're like in their 80s or i don't not actually that old but 40s and older this appears to be from the perspective of someone young Someone fresh off the press. Someone in their early to mid-twenties. Which honestly doesn't surprise me considering the actress is actually my age. She is literally only two months older than me. And that is insane to think about. Because of the fact that... In teenage years, you want to get out of high school. You're hating it. You despise it with most of your being. In When you're much older, you look at it with rose-tinted glasses, causing shows 
to look like they're just these weird depictions of high school, such as Miraculous being almost sugar-coated to only having really two bullies in the entire show of Miraculous. And that's the thing. You look at these situations in other shows where there's like one or two bullies, when in actuality, a large majority of the high school life is knowing that there are a lot of people who will not like you, or really anyone. And I feel like this show depicts that to a much better degree. I don't know how this show is going to end up, but I do have to say that it is probably the best way that they could have gone about with this show. Stargirl is a show that depicts someone who's actually looking objectively. The writers, who I don't know who they are, but they're clearly looking at this in an objective manner, seeing what's going on in actual high school and working that through. Let's be honest, it's not the best situation. And I think that this might be a good show for teenagers who are actually going through this stuff to actually show their parents and be like, yeah, this happens. This is a very accurate representation of what is going on. Will the parents understand? Maybe not, but it does feel like it could be the right direction. On top of this, there is some conflict, obviously. Su uh, Stargirl suits up and fights evil by the second episode. While she does get to mess around with her powers in the first episode, she really truly steps into her role as Stargirl in the second episode. And I think that that is a good thing to do. Because once a, let's be honest, when a kid finds out that they have superpowers, what is their first step to do? They're gonna mess around with it. And then when they think, oh, maybe my dad or whatever was a superhero, especially if they lost their parent, they're going to go and try to become a superhero themselves, making bad decisions. And I think that that is going to be exemplified in this show. But we'll just have to wait and see exactly what they decide to do. Honestly, I think that Stargirl will be the best of the DC shows. Because, let's be honest, they go more in detail with these actual relationships. So, yeah. Will it be the best? Who knows. Will it continue for many more seasons? Absolutely. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts and theories down in the comments below. If you have a theory about Miraculous, My Hero, or... Honestly, I'm kind of thinking of doing stuff for Stargirl now, but we'll see. Um, but really, anything that I talk about on this channel, if you have a theory, make sure to use the hashtag theory review so I can talk about it in a future video. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell. And if you want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description and check out all the links down there, including my merch, my book, my Patreon, and all my social medias. But anyways, guys, I've been Electro Ninja, and I'll see you guys next time. But on!